everybody. We are crossing our fingers that we're going to have chickens to show you soon. In the meantime, we're going to show you what our incubator looks like, and we're also going to talk today a little bit about chickens and their diets. Uh-huh. All right, here we go. Okay, here are our eggs this morning. Still no movement in there, but you can see we've got our humidity is right where we want it there, right above 70%. So we're just going to make sure that we keep those very, very humid in there the next three days. And hopefully we'll start seeing some movement. Okay, as we wait patiently for our chicks to hatch, let's talk about their diets. One of the best ways to have healthy, happy chickens is by providing them a good diet. Chickens are omnivores. They eat grains, fruits, vegetables, and insects. Chickens should typically be fed a prepared feed that's balanced for vitamins, minerals, and protein. A six pound hen will eat roughly three pounds of feed every week. Poultry require the presence of at least 38 dietary nutrients. A lot of research has gone into creating feed that is healthy and nutritious for raising healthy laying hens who will produce a lot of eggs for us to eat. Farmers who are raising chickens for egg production would spend a lot more time than we do thinking about what and how they're feeding their chickens so they can keep their farms as efficient as possible and their birds as healthy as possible. For our chickens, we just buy high quality feed that people who know more than we know, more than we do, have designed specifically for layer hens. Now, chicks need a higher protein content than their adult counterparts. Our chicks will have feed that's between 20 and 24% protein. As they continue to grow, they'll get grower feed, which is more like 18% protein. Once they're about 20 weeks old and start laying eggs, we will switch to what's called layer feed, and it will have a simile, similar protein content of 16 to 18%, but it does have extra calcium to help hens produce top quality eggshells. It's also important to give hens something called shell grit. Typically, this is made from crushed oyster shells. Feeding this serves two purposes. It gives the hens another calcium source, but it also helps them digest their feed. Chickens have something called a gizzard. Chickens store grit in their gizzards, which helps them pulverize their feed and digest it more easily. We also like to give our chickens something called scratch grains. This consists of cracked corn and oats. The hens like to scratch around in the dirt and find these treats, but these are just that, treats. They're not the main part of their diet, so we only do this on occasion and we don't give them too much. It's just like for us humans, the really tasty stuff we need to eat in moderation. We also give our chickens fruit and vegetable scraps from our kitchen, and these are some of our chickens that we had a few years ago. Now since our backyard chickens are outside a lot of the time, part of their, part of their diet also includes any insects that they can find. In the past, our chickens' eggs have had very dark orange yolks. You may have noticed that different eggs have different colored yolks that you buy in the store. This is 100% due to the diet of the chicken. It doesn't mean that one egg is fresher than another or even that one is healthier than the other. Whatever chickens eat affects this color. Since our birds get a diverse diet of chicken feed, scratch grains, and whatever they can find to eat outside, their egg yolks are usually darker than other eggs that we've seen. Okay. That's an introduction to the diets and feed requirements of chickens. Hopefully, we will start feeding those chicks very soon. Thanks for watching today, everybody. Please come back tomorrow, and we will hopefully have some chickens to show you. I, I wonder, like, I, just, I wish they would just hurry up and get here. Do you think chickens have any way of telling time? Oh, yeah. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. Classic. Classic.